it, it almost feels like there's like all the weight is like concentrated right here in the thumb. So it, it like, it feels heavy when you're trying to like windmill shots, um, which is one thing I don't like about it. Um, I mean, other than that, it's great. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun using it. I like it how, how it has the smaller cuff. You know, obviously by having a smaller cuff under the NHL regulations, you're able to have a bigger pocket. Um, it's really hard to see, but you get a lot of coverage right where the fingers are. And that's part of the darling spec they've incorporated. So again, when you're trying to stop those shots that are those low glove shots, when you're basically just trying to get a piece of the glove on it, um, this kind of like long finger stall right here, instead of it curling up like this, like right here, they've just kind of left it flat. As you can see, it's flat right there. So it's hard to see in camera, but it does give you more coverage when you're bringing that glove down in a butterfly and trying to stop those low glove shots. Um, <clears throat> This glove, it's, it's very comfortable to hold in kind of a neutral position. I mean, if you wanted to, you could hold it up like this. But like I said, just kind of holding it like this. Maybe hand, fingers slightly above out to the side. Just kind of like this has been very comfortable for me. Um, going up and down, just kind of still being able to hold it out in front to catch pucks out in front of you. Um, so I'm a fan of it. Um, I think they're all good gloves. Um, if you're going to ask me which one is the best, um, I, I guess it depends on personal preference. Um, so far, I mean, I really like this optic. Um, I really like it. It's got a massive pocket. It, it really makes catching pucks that much easier. Um, you don't have to be as accurate to get it in the pocket. Um, <clears throat> So, I mean, this has been a lot of fun. Just if we could work on the closure, you know, it would definitely be up there. That's the only thing I'm really not digging about it so far. If it, if it had a snapshot closure, like a 590, I mean, I would definitely rate it number one so far. But you can hear, like, I can snap this one shut. Um, and, and that just gives me confidence. Um, being able to snap your glove shut um at least for me it just it gives me more confidence when i'm playing i don't know why but it just does um so for now i even with the optic the pocket as big as, as it is i don't feel as confident because it's still not broken in um i mean all are good gloves this is a great glove um i mean it, it, when you're covering the puck it seals the ice very well it has a, a deep pocket you know, not as deep as the optic. Um, maybe not as big of a pocket. Like it takes more work to catch it in the pocket than some of the other gloves. I mean, when you when you really crank it open wide, you can see. I mean, there's there's not up and down. There's not a lot of room. So you've really got to be accurate with this glove to catch it in the pocket. Still a good glove. I mean, it opens up wide. You know, if you're somebody that maybe doesn't have a great glove hand. If you want to deter shooters from going glove side, you can kind of just, you know, really open this up and, and stick it out. It, it may deter shooters from going glove side. Um, <clears throat> kind of a, a jack of all trades glove, I would call it. Um, <clears throat> with the 600, it's, it's definitely got a shallower feel to it. Now, again, when it closes, the pocket is steeper. So it's a 75 degree closure, but this actually feels shallower than a 590. I mean, you can see it in this. The 590 definitely has a steeper thumb angle. It just kind of closes evenly. When this closes, it flops over like this. So when you're holding it, it feels shallower than the 590. So again, people just don't get confused on that. Um, you know, so this, this club is good. Um, I like it. Um, you know, maybe holding it isn't as comfortable for me. Um, 
but who knows? I, I don't want to speak too badly in this glove because I haven't spent a lot of time in it. Um, the reason I wanted to get one is because so many people are just switching to the 600. And I had used one briefly in the past. I used an Eflex one and I think I only used it at, at two practices and just hated it. So I wanted to give it another go. And the one time I used it, it was great. I, I used it twice actually. I used it at a stick and puck um, and it felt very comfortable. It was very easy to catch pucks. So I had no problems with it. Um, just this one is, I'm going to have to do something because the protection is just shot in this. Um, <clears throat> but it felt very easy. Like uh, there was a guy sticking puck and he was taking slap shots at me from maybe five, ten feet in the point. And he had a hard shot, but it felt very comfortable. I mean, it felt like I had used this glove my entire life. Just, you know, catching them cleanly in the pocket. Um, so more to come on the 600. Um, because it's not so steep the thumb angle, I feel like it's probably a little easier to catch pucks that are lower. You know, ones that are low and out, whereas the 590, like I said, because it's such a steep angle, you really have to cock your wrist and then move your hand out. Um, this one, it's just, it's easier to do that. Like right now, I'm not really cocking my, I'm just holding my arm out. And as you can see, it's not that much of a stretch to turn, to then turn my wrist from here to here to catch a low puck so you don't get a rebound. Um, and then, like I said, if you want to, you can kind of hold it, you know, up like this. So the pocket is facing straight ahead. I guess when you get really down low in your crouch and you're like this, um, it's not bad. It is pointed straight ahead. Um, so that's the 600. Not a fan of the closure. It's not brutal, but I prefer more with like a, a fingertip. I mean, this, it kind of feels like you're closing it with your whole hand which I'm not crazy about. It just, it feels like it's a slower process of closing the glove again, but maybe that's something I could get used to and then after a while it wouldn't be a big deal. So I'm gonna try to beef up the padding on this. Maybe I'll put in the padding I took out of the 580 and put it in this. And then again, it's the 580. It's the weird ass 580. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's such a, such a weird looking glove. Like it doesn't have like a lot of palm. It's a very narrow palm and you've got this long, tall pocket. And, you know, if you wanted to hold it like fingers up, it would look like this. Just very, very strange glove. Um, again, very hard to reach those low shots. Um, really made to hold down like this. Doesn't seal the ice well when you're covering pucks. Um, but just closing a glove. I mean, it's got just such a nice closure. Um, when you do catch stuff in the pocket with this glove, it's just, it's beautiful. Um, I mean, this is a pure catcher, you know? This is a pure catching glove. This isn't like a jack of all trades, like a blocking style glove. Um, this is a pure catcher. This is made to rip pucks out of the air and that's basically it. So it's fun, I just wouldn't use it as an everyday glove. Um, I'll just give you a little comparison of uh, trying to get the cuffs. So as you can see, look at the fingers. The bottom of the fingers, there's just so much more coverage on the um, on the optic. And as you can see with the optic, it kind of has like an offset T. It is a little offset, so it's pointing up into the corner, whereas the five nine, excuse me, the five eighty is pointing straight up. Um, so yeah, that's it. Any questions, let me know. Um, sorry this video went on so long. Um, yeah, any questions, let me know. For now, I'm going to be using the Optic. All are great gloves. I mean, they're all kind of fun. I really plan on holding on to all of them. Um, I really want to build my collection a little bit bigger for gloves. I think out of all the stuff people collect, sticks, masks, I think gloves are definitely the funnest. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, that's it. Optic for now. Like it. Um, just a little heavy. Not a great closure, but just an absolutely massive pocket. So, uh, yeah, any questions, again, just let me know. Thanks for watching.